Right now, open your lips. Open the door of your heart. Thou power of deliverance. Everyone that is here today, I speak to your heart. I speak to your soul. Every demonic activities within and outside you, I command them out in the name of Jesus. Say demonic activity. In the name of Jesus, out of my life, begin to command them out. Command them out. In the name of Jesus Christ. She's my daughter. Deliver her for me, man of God. Who are you? I am the woman in the water. Who is this man? I don't know him. I am nobody to him. What do you want to say then? She's my daughter. He say you are a daughter. I'm not his daughter. Who is she? I don't know. Stand up and look at his face. The one inside of her is the one talking. The life you people live. It's hopeless life. Life without power, girl. Look at your daughter saying he doesn't know you. Assume you have been living in line with the power. She will not face you to say she doesn't know you. And you give back to her. Where did you meet the woman, mama? I met with her in the Medjugorje, Borno State. The whole thing started from the connection. When you people met, it wasn't an issue of marriage, but later resort to it. At the beginning, it was a different thing. Yes, sir. Who are you? I am the woman in the water. How come about woman in the water? Who is your father then? I don't have a father. Who is your mother? I don't have a mother. How old are you? I don't have an age. Touch your daughter. I don't know this man. Carry your daughter. Your father has carried you. Not my father. But somebody carry you? Yes. Who is he? I don't know. Somebody you don't know, you allow the person to carry you. Why can't you disappear? I am in somebody's body. Oh, clap for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Do you listen to that? For you to know that it's not a small girl. He's telling me things of the spirit. He say, I'm somebody's body. It's not carry the real body that is talking. He said he cannot carry the real body. The real body is somewhere, but the body he's carry is just ordinary body. But it's somebody's body. She know what she is saying. It's not a kid. Say in the name of Jesus, carry her on the floor. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> the job is done. It's running for the father now. If you near her, it will run. Near her. <laughs> Because you have done something now. Run after her. <laughs> Call her now. Come here. Because he cannot near him. Before now, he toasts you like bread. You used to see her in the dream. Yes, man of God. Now he cannot near you again. Even he will not be able to go home with you unless he's delivered. What you see now is light. He's afraid. You can't carry her again because she will not even follow you unless she's delivered. Because you are not for her again. Go and wait there. You, this is what everybody needs. Go this way. Go and meet your dad. Meet your dad. Meet your dad. Meet your dad. Move close. Move close. Move close. In the name of Jesus. My name is Vivian Prince Wilson and, and I'm from Nigeria, but I'm residing in South Africa. And the man standing beside me is my dad. The problem that brought us to the synagogue church of all nations was that I was possessed with the spirit of witchcraft. It all started when, when we visited a woman in 2009 and she, and she offered us a drink. Since that time, I've been seeing myself and a demon following me behind. And there was a time when we were watching news and a man had a plane crashed and was surviving from drinking his urine. Then I went to the toilet, which my dad never knew what I was going there to do. When I got there, that demon told me that I should urinate in a bowl and drink. Then I did so and I flushed an empty toilet. Since that time, I've been drinking my own urine.
and the demon also pushed me into eating my hair, picking my nose, and eating the dirty from my ear, which also made me chew my fingernails. And by that time, I was very big and very fat. As you can see, I have lost so much weight. This demon pushed me into doing so many things that affected my dad's career. By now, he was supposed to be in England, because, but because I was... I was um, possessed with the spirit of witchcraft, I made it not to happen. So, so any time he, he takes me, picks me from school, I would always look dirty and I was also addicted to eating sand. That demon liked every, everywhere to be dirty to the extent I can stay two months without taking a shower. My mom w would force me that I have to take a shower before I would agree. Even when taking a shower, I would be very angry with her. Glory be to God, I have been delivered. And since my deliverance, I've been, I've been relating with my parents and my younger ones. That spirit pushed me into having the spirit of anger, which any time my mother or father talked to me, I would get angry and at them and abuse them. But now I, I am relating with them and I'm very, very light and I have lost much weight. And I thank God for delivering me. Emmanuel. My name is Prince Wilson Olomu. I'm a Nigeria based in South Africa. As you have seen in the clip, that day was my wonderful day in my entire life. It started in South Africa when we are watching Emmanuel TV, when man of God was praying a mass prayer. Then my daughter started manifesting. She started vomiting and coughing. Then I confronted her. I said, who are you? What is wrong with you? Then the spirit in her started speaking. He said a lot of things. Then I decided to bring her down to scorn for a proper deliverance. The day we came, that is what happened, what you saw in the clips. There are a lot of things happening with her before her deliverance. She was eating a lot of things that human being doesn't eat. She ate the hair of all part of her body. She sniffed petrol. She ate the dirt. A lot of things that human being doesn't eat, she ate. And that is the result of how she was caused to be fat, as you saw in the clips. And a lot of problems happening in my marriage and in my career entirely. She was very, very aggressive to her younger ones. And she always see her mother as a rival to her, not like a mother. She hates her. She hates her mom. She hates me as well. And she always appears to me in my dream, attacking me in various ways and attacking my career as well. You brought her here after the spirit within her manifested when watching Emmanuel TV. Now, we've seen what happened in the clip. Tell us, ever since this deliverance, what are the changes? Uh, after since this deliverance, there are a lot of changes in the entire family and in her life as well. Uh, any day I am not at home, she's like the father in the house. She takes care of her mom, takes care of the younger ones. She do things that you will know truly that a deliverance has taken place in her life. And God impart her with a divine wisdom that she behaves like a normal child ought to behave. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So you mean ever since then, your daughter has been behaving completely normally. She's very intelligent in school. She's now loving the family and behaving completely like a normal child. Yes, sir. And I got a clip of her, how she looked like now. This is the very person you saw in the clips there. Well, thank you, Jesus Christ. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. You said before she used to eat many strange things. She used to attack you in the dream. Tell us, have all of those things stopped? Yeah, all those things have stopped. Presently now, she is the neatest in the family. Any dirty irritate her seriously as a result of her deliverance. As a result of this deliverance, there are a lot of peace in my marriage now and in my career and as a result of that deliverance, I was able to have my own house in South Africa 
which I bought without owning a pen. And as a result of the deliverance as well, I and my family all, we are able to have a permanent resident in South Africa, which I can show you the picture of my family. This is the certificate of the proof of our permanent resident in South Africa, the whole family. And as well, this is my ID from South Africa. My career has been so great now since after the deliverance. Before the deliverance, uh, my legs were swelling. I can't even use it as a soccer player. But after I came here with her, after the deliverance, when I went back home without using any medication, everything went clean. And I was restored as the way God has created me. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We can just hear the blessings that God has brought into this family. Sir, you even said that, as we saw in the clip, that your daughter was very fat because of the, the things she was eating and how this evil spirit was occupying her body. But right now, her health, how is her health and how is her body now? Her health is perfectly well now. In regard to her body, you have seen the picture of her, how she looks slim and tall. Okay, we can see again here the picture of that little girl that we saw manifesting earlier, and indeed, this is the evidence that Jesus Christ has completely delivered her. Some years after the deliverance, you can see that she's completely back to normal, and we give all the glory to God Almighty. My advice to viewers around the world and the people present here, as a parent, when man of God is praying, don't concentrate on yourself only or your wife. The children are very, very important. Bring them around because devil is a very tricky spirit. You will take them away. You will think that they are playing. But Satan don't want them to receive their deliverance. Make sure that they are around you and pray together with them. You will see the hand of God in their life. And my second advice is, all viewers all over the world and the people present here, let our prayers always be, if God send man of God to deliver you, that may you receive your deliverance anywhere you are. For distance is not a barrier. Amen. Let's put our hands together for our Lord Jesus Christ. Indeed, distance is not a barrier. And we believe our brother's uh, word of advice is a great encouragement to viewers around the world. During the course of today's service, Prophet T.B. Joshua will begin to pray for the viewers. Wherever you are, join by faith, connect with that prayer, bring your family together, and allow the anointing of God to touch you wherever you are in the world, and you too will share your own testimony. Well, brother, we encourage you to continue to bring up this uh, beautiful girl in the ways of the Lord and your family, and definitely the best is yet to come in Jesus' name. Amen.